guys, so today I'm going to be doing the full time cozy time tag. That is a mouthful. And I was tagged by a simple cup of tea and I'm going to leave her link to her channel down below. Now it's not fall here in Australia, it's actually spring going on summer, I'm pretty sure. Don't hold me to that though. I don't go outside a lot so I'm not sure what the weather looks like out there. But it's still fun to do tags and I like to pretend that I live in America so yeah. I'm gonna do the tag. The first question is crunching leaves. Choose a book that has red or yellow or orange on the cover or a bit of both. I'm gonna choose a you recently released book, Eliminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This cover I think fits perfectly with the description. It's got some red, it's got some yellow, it's got some orange. Like if this doesn't scream fall to you, I don't know what else screams fall. I mean personally I don't live in America and we don't really celebrate fall as much but fall seems to be yelling at me fall. The next question is cozy sweater. What book gives you the warm fuzzy feelings? Harry Potter, like any Harry Potter book I've chosen the first one because you know this has a lot of warm fuzzy things, not too many things that go wrong. But yeah generally any Harry Potter book, I mean they're by JK Rowling, do I really need to say that? But any Harry Potter book. They just leave me all warm and fuzzy inside. Fall Storm. Choose your favourite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day. I don't really have books or genres that I read particularly whenever the weather is like a certain way. I live in Victoria in Australia and so the weather can have all four seasons in one day and so I never know what the weather's going to be like. Like it can be raining for a first hour when I start reading and then after I finish the book it could be completely sunny outside all in one sitting. However if I did have to choose maybe be like horror or dystopian. I think those two kind of fit in with the stormy kind of feel. Cool crisp air. What's the coolest character that you would like to trade places with? I'm gonna have to go Bally from the Summer I Ten Pretty series. She has some stuff going on that's pretty sad. But heart Conrad. I really like Conrad. Or anyone from the Harry Potter series too. Just, I don't know. Anyone. Well, characters generally do have pretty good lives in the end. I mean they might go through some horrible stuff but they generally do end up pretty good lives. But honestly I'm pretty happy with my life. I mean really the only thing I could improve I guess is being a witch. So yeah actually maybe someone from Harry Potter. Hermione or something? I'm not sure but someone from Harry Potter. Hot apple cider. Which underhype book would you like to see become the you hottest thing? I've never had hot apple cider before but it sounds really yum. Why don't I live in America? I'm not sure if this is an underhyped book or not. But it is one of my favourite books. I see some popular booktubes talk about it and I see people talk about it. But I honestly think it deserves like everyone to be talking about it. Like I just really like it and I think that it deserves more recognition than it gets. And that is Unwind by Neil Schutzman. <laughs> Can't say his last name. But Unwind by Neil Schutzman. Last names in me today aren't working. Anyway this book though I just I really like it. I think it has a really interesting concept. It's done really well and I just really like it. I'm actually going to reread it again soon because I want to finish the series, but yeah, unwind. Coat, scarves and mittens. When you say mittens, it reminds me of that nursery rhyme that used to go, these poor little kittens who have lost their mittens. Oh, where, oh, where are they? That's not how it goes, but I just remember they go, meow, 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 we have lost our mittens, you naughty kittens. I'm mucking up who says what. And they don't get to go outside and play unless they find their mittens and then they find their mittens and then they get to go out inside and play. You probably think I'm crazy right now and I probably am. <laughs> anyway, what's the most embarrassing book cover that you like to keep hidden in public? I couldn't really think of anything. I do have one. It's a book that I got at the op shop and but the cover's not really PG so I'm not going to show you that one. But honestly I'm not really too embarrassed by what I read. Like look I read these they're fine. These covers are pretty cool anyway. I mean, Inuasha is a demon, more well, half demon, but he's a real demon. And look, he's got little ears, little cat ears. That's a cool cover. Why would I be embarrassed to read something like this? I don't know, I'm just not really embarrassed by what I read. I read what I want to read, and at least I'm reading. So all the haters can back up. Pumpkin spice, what's your favorite fall comfort food? There are fall comfort foods? Like, I don't know. <laughs> pumpkin spice though, sounds really yum. I really want to try pumpkin spice things like pumpkin spice lattes or pumpkin spice whatever I just 
want to try one. But apparently pumpkin Kit Kats would love to try one. But we don't have any of that here. We don't really celebrate fall and have fall foods. I have tried pumpkin pie before and I really liked that. I've only had it once. But from what I had of it, I liked it. So I guess pumpkin pie. And the last question is warm, cozy bonfire. Who do you tag? Crap, I hadn't come prepared for this. Okay, I'm going to tag Manda the Glittery Nerd and a Zombie Pork Tuber. Both of those guys are Australian, so it's not fall for them either. But I'd like to see their answers. So I'm going to go ahead and tag them. So that was my fall time, cozy time tag. There's a lot of times in that tag, like fall time, cozy time. What is cozy anyway? Like what do you picture when you picture cozy? Picture being on the couch, snuggled up in a blanket. I guess that is cozy. Anyway, that was the fall time, cozy time tag. Let me know in the comments below if you have fall food. What is your favourite fall food? So I can be jealous of all the festive things you guys have and be like, please let me try some. And like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you like to see more book related videos from me. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.